Oh boy. What's happening guys, I'm TechSource. Welcome back to another unboxing. This is quite possibly the biggest unboxing I have done on the channel. No, 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 no. This is the biggest unboxing you have seen on YouTube without a doubt. I'm not even exaggerating when I say this, you guys, but we have over 50 boxes here at the office. Needless to say, this is gonna be any gamer's wet dream. And I'm super, super excited to dive through these boxes and see what we got. I actually couldn't get much sleep last night because I was so hyped for this video, but I did pick up some coffee to help me through today. I'm probably gonna split this into two videos because there is no way in Bigfoot's toenails you guys are gonna sit through an hour long unboxing video. So make sure you subscribe, that way you don't miss out on part two. And let's just say there's gonna be a few extra goodies to give away to you guys watching. And it's gonna happen at random parts in this video, so make sure you stick around. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let the unboxing begin. All right, let's just dive right in, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys have seen the previous unboxing videos, you know that we like to start off with the small boxes and move our way to the big stuff. And you guys know that we usually have the best stuff in the bigger boxes towards the end of the video. So starting off, we got a couple of Lavalier microphones, does not say a brand. JK Lavalier microphones. Okay, let's check these out. Fun little fact, I'm actually using a Lavalier microphone to record this video. This is a $1,000 Sony Lavalier microphone that I like using for my videos that I'm mostly like moving around because it's just, it's very convenient as opposed to using a uh, standalone boom microphone. So I'm actually curious to see what the sound quality difference is between these and the thousand dollar lavalier that I'm using right now. So let's go ahead and plug this in and test it out. So I got my lavalier hooked up to my t-shirt right next to the other expensive lavalier. We'll do a quick sound test. And then you got the other end that plugs into any hole. Let me rephrase that. This plugs into any 3.5 millimeter jack. And if you have a quarter jack, you can actually use the quarter jack adapter to plug that in. So here we go. And by the way, this microphone goes for $30 on Amazon and currently has about four and a half star reviews. So let's see how well this does. Here is a comparison between both the lavalier microphones. I'm talking in the Sony lavalier microphone right now. We're gonna switch over to the JK700 budget lavalier. And this is raw, by the way. There is no editing done to any of these uh, audio files. And you guys can see the comparison between both of them. Keep in mind that the Sony one is $1,000 and this one is $30, $29.99 on Amazon. So you guys can be the judge on the quality uh, between these two. They're actually kind enough to send an extra pair. So we'll be giving away a pair of the JK Lively microphone. So let's toss this on the giveaway pool. Every time we mention a giveaway, we're gonna to toss it in the pool on the left side so you guys will see all of the products that will be given away in this video. And by the way, the giveaways will be held on my Discord server, link down below. You guys definitely wanna be a part of this one. Some exciting stuff. But yeah, the Lavalier microphone is uh, compatible with pretty much anything that has a 3.5 millimeter jack. So your you know tablet, laptop, or even your smartphone. Thank you, JK, for sending this in. All right, let's keep the show going, guys. We have actually a lot of really small boxes before we even jump into the medium ones, which are way back there in the corner. So let's try and keep this going as fast as possible. I think my knife is gonna die halfway throughout this video because it is already dull as it is. I'm hoping I would get... Oh my God, are you serious right now? What? The second box already? <sighs> oh my God. My heart is pounding again. And I know last in the last video, I was putting my freaking hand in the wrong spot, but oh my God. Let me calm down a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, I just unboxed a $4,000 processor. This is the Ryzen Threadripper 3990X. Whew, let me just, let me, take, let, me, let me take a second here. It's a 64 core, 128 threaded processor, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh my God. The second box. Oh my God. I gotta open you up. Let's get inside you. Oh my goodness. This is 
AMD's flagship desktop processor, the fastest desktop processor in the market currently from AMD. Oh my God. Look at this beauty. Should I open this up or should I save it for the, for the build video? I got big things planned for this, you guys. The first build I'll be doing with it is just a regular air-cooled video. And then afterwards, I'm gonna toss it under water just to see the performance differences. But yeah, pretty big stuff planned. I can't even close this damn box because of the excitement. Pretty big stuff planned. You know what, this is good enough, let's move on. Man, I was not warmed up for that, you guys. That caught me off guard. I'm still in shock that that was even sent to me. Thank you, by the way, so much AMD for that. I will not let you down. I got some amazing stuff planned with that processor. So we got some stuff from Crucial. I love that I didn't get any uh, packaging boxes for these, but um, I will take it nonetheless. We got some M.2 drives and a uh, 2000 gigabyte SSD, a two terabyte SSD. These are actually going in the, uh, the Threadripper build I was talking about. Couple more Amazon boxes. Man, I love doing these videos. It is honestly just like Christmas morning every single time, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I recently built my setup. I'm sure I, a lot of you guys have seen that video, but for some odd reason, I did not have any Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose figurines on the top shelf. That is actually my favorite character in Dragon Ball Super. It's even on my wallpaper. The fact that I don't have any of those was kind of mind blowing to me. I don't know how I overlooked it, but went on Amazon and I ordered one immediately. And now it's finally here. I'm going to add this to my collection. Oh man, that is so badass. This is gonna make such a great addition to my setup. The question is, who's gonna get the boot to replace Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose? Next up is a mystery box from Ponage? Ponage? Never heard of it. Oh, whoa, okay. Is this a gaming mouse? It's a gaming mouse. Two gaming mice, I should say. From Pownage, 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 Pownage. And these are custom colored shells. So it appears that we can customize the gaming mouse. Okay. This actually piqued my interest. Ultra custom, okay. Oh, they sent the right color. You guys know me too well. Is this wireless? Oh, it looks like a wireless honeycomb gaming mouse. It looks very similar to the, uh, the Model D or the Model O, but it's wireless. Okay. Comes with a detachable USB-C cable. Really cool. Oh, and one black top cover. Okay. So this is actually quite interesting. Let me open this one up real quick. Okay, they sent me a black one as well. Oh, these look pretty cool. These look pretty cool. I'm obviously not gonna use the black one, so let's toss this on the giveaway pool. This will also be given away. So I'm guessing you just pop this off. Oh, that was easy, okay. That is pretty cool. I love the fact that you can customize it on your own and you can swap it out anytime you want. So, you know, if you get bored of a single color, Next month, you can swap it to a different one. That's pretty cool. But nonetheless, thank you, Pownage, Poonage, however you say your name, for sending these in. All right, we got a box from uh, MSI. We got a Ryzen 7 processor, ladies and gentlemen, the Ryzen 7 3800X. This is AMD's new eight core 16 thread processor with a higher uh, base and boost clock actually just in time for another build All right, this one This one's packaged interestingly one of these days. I'm just gonna cut my finger off. I know it. I know it. 
How awesome would it be if I unbox a knife in one of these videos? Oh, we got some nice goodies from Team Group. Okay. So this over here is labeled giveaway. So I'm guessing this is going to be a giveaway. So we are putting this on the giveaway pool. A 512 gigabyte SSD, 16 gigabytes of RAM clocked at 3000 megahertz. And lastly, we have, ooh, an RGB SSD, 250 gigabytes of space. Very, very nice. Let's add all three of these on the giveaway pool. Let's see what else they've sent me. We got a uh, 1000 milliamp hour power bank. Oh, this is so tiny. This is cute. Okay. That can come in handy. And then we got some additional storage and memory for some future builds. We got a 512 gigabyte SSD, a two terabyte SSD, and the Vulcan 16 gigabyte RAM. This is actually the same one as the black one. However, this is slightly faster at 3200 megahertz. Thank you guys so much at Team Group for sending these in. I love your faces. Let's open up something from EK. Ooh, flow indicators. Can it be? Can it be they sent in their new flow indicators? Yes, it can. Yes, it can indeed. Very small, you know, piece of equipment, but I was actually looking forward to these. I don't know if you guys can see that desk behind me. That is a Lian Lee DK05 desk that I'm building two systems inside. One side's gonna be a Threadripper productivity slash streaming PC, and the other side is pure Intel gaming with a Z490 chipset. It's gonna be awesome. So this is actually gonna be going in that build. We got a box shaped like a keyboard. I wonder what could this be? Could it be a gaming mouse? Womir. Take the helm to head for victory. What is it with these cringy sayings on these boxes? Take the helm to head for victory. What, does that even, is that grammatically even correct? It's a nice keyboard though. So I've actually never heard of this brand. It's called the, the Womir, Womir Glazed, Glazed RGB keyboard. This is actually quite fascinating how this is even built. It doesn't even have a frame, you guys. It doesn't have a casing around it. You can clearly see the PCB from the back. Oh, actually, you know what? I gotta plug this in. This looks pretty cool. Oh, damn, that looks so sick. That actually looks pretty sick. I love this kind of diffused lighting that's going on here. Oh, looks like the casing is actually frosted. Gives up this really nice diffused look on the keyboard. This is actually pretty cool. Looks like we got linear switches. I'm guessing cherry red equivalent. Might do a video on this. I don't know if you guys are interested, but yeah, really cool 60%. I think it's a 60% keyboard. Very, very nice. Thank you, Womir, Womir, however you say your company name for sending this in. Man, I'm getting excited every second and we're not even halfway done with the video, guys. I'm looking at at least 30 more boxes. Whew. I'm gonna lose my voice by the end of this video. I can guarantee you that much. Okay, a bit of change of pace. We got some stuff from Aura's. We got uh, two eight gigabyte sticks from Aura's. This is uh, 3,600 megahertz. And we've got a, uh, an extended gaming mouse pad. Okay, I'll give you guys a quick little hint. Um, set up makeover season six applications have been closed and I'm going through the final interview process. And let's just say the person who receives a brand new setup might have some Aura's gear in it. You guys can probably guess already that the boxes are getting slightly bigger as we move on. So now we're getting to the medium sized boxes. Oh my God, I almost stabbed this GPU. Oh, hello, Poppy. We got, <laughs> that, was, that was cringe. We got the MSI Gaming. <laughs> uh, an RTX 2070 Super. This is the uh, Gaming X series. Oh my God. I don't know if I requested this. I'm honestly losing track of these at, at this point. But yeah, I'm sure I'll put this to good use. Thank you, MSI, for sending this in. I hope this is something I ordered and not something 
that someone sent me because at least I can return it if it's broken. Okay, so no, this is not something I've ordered, but we got some stabilizers, ladies and gentlemen. This is called the Smooth X. We've got a Smooth XS and another Smooth X. So you know what that means? Let's throw these two on the giveaway pool. Please, thank you very much, my editor. You know what, this actually came in a perfect time because I've been shooting a lot of my videos handheld with my Sony RX100, and honestly, I'm not happy with it because there's a lot of shaking going on, and it just doesn't look good. The final outcome does not look good, and I know you guys noticed it in the comment section, so this couldn't have came in a perfect time. I can possibly use this and hook it up to my Sony camera and get a much stabilized shot a much smoother video for you guys. So this is from a company called Zion, and this is actually technically made for smartphones, but my Sony camera is pretty small, so I think I'm gonna make it work with my camera. This is actually what I use to shoot my handheld videos. The stabilization isn't the best on here, so I'm hoping this will fix it. All right guys, so I am walking around the office right now without the stabilizer. This is me holding my Sony camera just with my hands. We're gonna do a quick comparison to the uh, the Smooth X stabilizer from Zion, just to kind of see what the difference is like. All right, so I got the camera hooked up to the stabilizer, and it's actually doing pretty good so far by the looks of it. It's uh, keeping the camera nice and steady, and it's not wobbling or shaking at all. But you guys will be the judge of that. I know this is actually meant for smartphones, but if you have a small handheld camera, you can actually use that as well to vlog or take video. This is actually pretty cool. I can even use this little knob down here to pan the camera left and right. That is pretty sweet. So overall, pretty impressed what this little thing can do considering that it's only going for $60. That is actually pretty crazy. They did send in two extra models, so let's toss these in the giveaway pool as well and move on. Thank you so much, Zion, for setting these in. Okay, let's move on to bigger and better things as i always like to say what do you got for me today hello let's go that's what i'm talking about <laughs> Woo. oh yes 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 come to me that was weird <laughs> okay we got a gpu i'm assuming it's from evga doesn't even have anything on there is this normal packaging Usually there'd be like an RTX or GTX model number or something on there. I like, I like it, it's mysterious. I wonder what we got today. Oh, you're a thick boy. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. I'm gonna do curls with this GPU. Oh, that manufacturing smell. Straight from the factory, you can smell it. You can smell the blood and tears from the workers. Oh my God. RTX 2080 from EVGA. I don't even know what model this is. I'm assuming Black Edition maybe, FTW? It doesn't say. Um, I'm just gonna label it somewhere on the screen. That's what version. Oh, this is a 2080 Super. My apologies, I thought it was a 2080. It says 2080 over here, but when you look on the back plate, there's a little Super logo on there. So, damn, nice. It's actually interesting that this came in while the new NVIDIA GPUs were launched. So this is technically like half value now, which is, which is kind of nuts. But nonetheless, I will find good use for you. Thank you, EBGA, for sending this in. How cool would it be if I could unbox an RTX 3090 in this video? If I unbox a 3090, I will lick it. And then we can update the damn Discord banner because that thing is like, what, four or five years old? Imagine it's a 3090 right now. Oh, it's not, but I'm still excited nonetheless because, oh my God, this is two in a row. Two in a row, two GPUs in a row, I should say. Oh yes, solo baby. We got a gaming, another gaming X model from MSI. This is the RTX 2080 Ti. So beautiful. What am I gonna do with all these outdated GPUs though? Let's be realistic, right? We got an RTX 3070 that's gonna be outperforming an RTX 2080 Ti and it's only gonna cost $500. It's gonna start at $500, which is, which is insane, it's nuts. Which means once those cards come out, we're looking at 2080 Ti's priced under $500. You know, if those performance numbers are anywhere near accurate, 
that Nvidia is claiming, man, man oh man, it's gonna change the game. It's gonna change so many things. I'm actually super excited for that. It means that gamers can finally enjoy 1440p resolution, like at mid-range prices. It's funny how the 2080 Ti is a two slot while we got the 2080 Super, which is a triple slot, but nonetheless, this is a beefy looking GPU. Thank you MSI for sending this in. I will not let you down. Moving right along. Oh man, this is where the good stuff is starting to appear now because we are getting into the medium sized boxes, which have the good stuff. And then the big boxes near the end, which has, in my opinion, the best of the best. Oh my God, it's not a GPU. You guys, we can relax. But in my opinion, it's something better. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the ROG Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha from Asus. Oh man, that is a beauty. You guys have seen the 3990X earlier in this video, so you can probably deduce what this board is for. Yes, sir, indeed. TR40 socket type is gonna go beautifully with the 3990X. Let's actually open this up. Oh, I've never seen so many RAM slots. Correction, I haven't seen this many RAM slots in a long, long time. Last one was on Big Red version three. Look at this. Don't you just wanna stick your tongue in these reinforced PCI slots? Or is it just me? <laughs> oh yes, okay. I'm getting a little too excited. Let's, uh, let's, let's shift the gears down a little bit, all right? Because we still have a lot more boxes to go. At this rate, I'm gonna lose all my energy, so. Let's focus, let's focus, moving on. <laughs> oh man. I hope you guys are doing good, by the way. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. It's gonna be a long one. I don't know how long it's so far, but holy hell, we still got so many boxes to go. Oh my God, no way. <laughs> oh, no way. We have an RTX 2070 Super, ladies and gentlemen, from Aura's going to one lucky, lucky, beautiful, lovely subscriber for Setup Makeover season five. Are we on season six? Season six, sorry. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Aris. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for sending this in. Although with the new Nvidia cards releasing, I might ask them for uh, an RTX 3070 maybe. Let's see if that's doable. Okay, we have a, uh, a care package, really. We have in a box, is this in a boxing knife? Oh my goodness. I couldn't have asked for anything better in this video. How awesome would it be if I unbox a knife in one of these videos? Oh my God. Yes, it's carbon fiber too. Look at this. You have served me well. Let's continue the rest of the unboxing with this knife here, if I can open this up. Oh, this is so sleek. This is so cool. I love this. I love this already. Okay, let's move on. So we got some pretty cool stuff from the Ridge. Let's use my new knife. Oh my God. Oh, and it's so sharp. Oh, this is what a sharp knife feels like. It's been so long, you guys. Honestly, it's been years that I've been using that knife. Oh my God. That is so sick. The commuter backpack, weatherproof too. Nice little traveling backpack, okay. We also got the uh, Ridge wireless power bank. I would assume it's wireless. Oh, as in like wireless charging, hold up. Let's see if it charges my phone with the case on. Oh, it's got no juice, okay. Well, either way, thank you for sending that in. We also got a card case. Is it for my phone? Please tell me. It's for Oh my God, it might be for my phone. Let's pop this in. I'm actually in the market for a new phone, so this might be actually perfect for me. And then what else we got here? Oh, looks like we have a Ridge wallet, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at this. Oh, look at that unboxing. This actually looks pretty cool. Let's pop in a few of my cards. Okay, not bad. Pretty compact, very minimal. You can even use this clip to store some cash. Pretty cool, but I'm not really a cash person or a wallet person for that matter. So I'm gonna, gonna, so I'm gonna stick to my wallet case, but this is actually still a pretty cool thing. Thank you so much, Ridge, for sending this over. 
actually looks like they sent in an extra power bank for you guys. So let's add this to the giveaway pool. Man, I am so hyped for this episode. This is actually the best unboxing episode I have filmed so far. We're not even halfway done with the video. Okay, we got some stuff from Aoki. Okay? Aoki, Aoki. We have some stuff from Aoki. This is looking like a mouse pad. Should I open it? Nope. It's generic extended black mouse pad. And I'm guessing this is a keyboard and then we got a mouse as well. So let's pop this open. Full size mechanical blue switch keyboard. Looking pretty swanky. Let's check out this gaming mouse. I actually didn't know Aoki made gaming gear. I thought they were mostly just like wireless earbuds, power banks, chargers, and you know, cables and stuff. But this is actually pretty cool to see. All right, so we got a pretty cool looking bezel-less full-size keyboard. We got an aluminum top plate and this pretty cool like RGB accent going across the middle frame of the keyboard. And then we got this 10,000 DPI gaming mouse with an optical sensor. Pretty cool stuff. I wonder how much the price is on these. So this keyboard is going for $55. This is the Alki Knight and it's going for 25. So pretty decent prices on budget gaming gear. Thank you Alki for sending these over. Oh. I'm noticing as the boxes are getting bigger, they're also getting heavier, which means I'm gonna struggle really hard for tomorrow because tomorrow is arm day at the gym. Ladies and gentlemen, please send help. I've got an ancient motherboard from Gigabyte, the 970A. What? What is this? Is this how graphics cards were packaged back in the day? Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like somebody dragged me back into the 1990s. Oh, AMD TR40 sockets. What? Oh, okay. Got me worried there a little bit. So they just reused an old box. Okay, recycling, I like that. We've got a TRX40 socket motherboard from Aorus with another Threadripper processor, guys. We got the 3970X in here, very nice. And two graphics cards, I'm assuming. Do they want me to do an SLI build? Oh, nice, what is this? We have an RTX 2080 Gaming X Trio. <laughs> what? We got two of these bad boys. When's the last time I did an SLI build on the channel? Oh, wow. I miss holding two GPUs at once. Back in the good old days, man. So yeah, some uh, interesting builds coming up to say the least on the channel. Thank you very much, MSI, for sending these in. Look how easy this knife is cutting into these boxes, you guys. I'm not even trying. It cuts it like butter. I don't even know why I didn't just buy myself a damn knife, to be honest. We got a board mother. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Aura's Z490 Pro AX. You know what, I'm not gonna open the motherboards anymore. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times. We have a lot of boxes to go through, so maybe I'll stick to the interesting uh, boxes only. Huh? What in the actual hell is that? An Aura's robot? Have you guys actually heard of this? <laughs> what? That thing looks sick. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. I've never seen an Aura's robot. I've even heard of an Aura's robot before. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the gift package they were talking about? Oh, and then we got some Legos. You can actually build your own motherboard. Those of you out there who can't afford a motherboard, this is probably a cool little toy to play with. You can build a tiny motherboard and put it on your desk and pretend you have one. They sent a watch too. Oh, it's kind of like those um, Chuck E. Cheese quality watches. Still, I'm appreciative, thank you so much. And then lastly, we've got what appears to be a uh, wireless charger. Okay, this is actually cool. If this lights up in RGB, this would be a pretty cool Qi charger. 
it lights up just on the outer rim though. Still pretty cool. RS, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for this amazing gift. You guys are dope. Okay, I have serious questions about this box. Like, first of all, this box is ripped already. You can tell where the damage was. This, this box was straight up cut and it decided to tape it up and send it anyways. Talk about budget. They really want to save some money on packaging. Where is this even from? Should I even open this box? You know what? I'm not gonna open this box. You know what? Yeah, let's open it, why not? Could be another GPU, who knows? Jesus Christ, I'm surprised this thing even made it here. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> what? What? This is adorable. We got pink fans. And a pink AIO. <laughs> I've never done a pink build on the channel. I've never done a grilly build. Or, you know, if guys are into pink, you know, no judgment here. But if you guys are interested in a pink themed build, I know there are some pretty cool pink cases out there that I've seen on Amazon. I think it'll be pretty cool. Maybe even a water cool pink build with some pink liquid. The possibilities are endless. Oh, then I can't even use these um, AIO if I go water cool. But yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in that in the comment section below. We've got three more boxes before we get into the big boxes, guys. What time is it? Honestly, I feel like it's the next day here. Time doesn't exist anymore during this unboxing. Okay, oh, nice. Okay. 